Hey, we're live. I'm your friendly neighborhood host, John Maffio. This is the first edition of a new segment of my channel, Movie Blogs Raw and Uncut, where I would normally talk about the big news discussion of the week and just break it down uncut, no cutting, no editing, no crazy BS, just straight up talking. But nothing really to talk about, but there is some news. Um, yeah, I'm talking to something. A new friend of mine spent $750 on this new friend. I hired her for the next six months to pay over because I can't pay her off in one night. I mean, that would be impossible for me. I have other bills to take care of as a housewife. <sighs> Meet the EOS T3i Rebel Canon Camera HD. This is nuts. Um, I've been using a flip camera for the last two years, and before that, I've been using the flip camera for years beyond that, just for regular things before I did YouTube videos. And now, I finally invested in a new camera. Well, I didn't really invest because I didn't spend the whole money on it, but it's here, and it's it was overdue, and now it's here, and I can't wait to utilize it because this is so awesome. Um, there's so much, there's so many complications on this camera, all these buttons, all these crazy things. I mean, they're like giant camera lenses bigger than my face. All these options, menus, and I'm just, I'm looking at I watched the video, a half an hour video, and I was just like, what do I do? So all I know how to do is point and shoot right now, but that's all I need to do because all I have to do is talk. I could talk all day long about this. Let's do it. Um, this is very exciting for me because HD is just a wondrous figment of imagination that just explores. That made no sense, I think. But I can't wait to use this, really. I don't know how much longer I can talk about this camera. I mean, I, that can get a little creepy and so, so, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Psychodelic. Psychopathic. Creepy. Like the guy from Lovely Bones. A psychopath. But there is one news story I want to talk about here that just broke as I bought this camera and I found out on my phone on my way home. Not while driving. So Ninja Turtles, one of the tentpole summer blockbuster films for 2014. People already hate it. You'd think maybe they'd try to find a redeeming factor in it to give people hope. For little prepercussion boys, prepercussion, prepercussant boys, this is going to be, I guess, maybe a good factor. But for me and for everybody else who actually gives a crap about Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this is horseshit. Megan Fox, yeah, that's right, washed up Megan Fox, has been cast as April O'Neil in the new Ninja Turtles movie. Now, April O'Neil is not the kind of character to have Oscar caliber acting or somebody who is very prestigious, but Megan Fox, Michael Bay directing it or producing it, whatever. What a dumb, lazy, insignificant option decision on everybody's part involved so lazy you could f there are ladies out there there are actresses out there who have a nice sexy charm to them but they can also be actual people megan fox who is i'm sure a nice person in real life but she comes off as a skank and a whore in movies and what she's done she's done this horror movie that was really but jennifer's body the the transformers movies the first two and she really she, all she was was a two-dimensional model, and she was in This Is 40, and she didn't do anything but act like a whore, again. So what's she going to do here? Is she going to show some acting chops? No. But I... Next thing they're going to say is that the Ninja Turtles are all CGI, and not actual puppeteers or costumes. Oh wait, I just predicted the future. <sighs> anything else break out? Anything else break out? Um, okay. Two movies coming out this weekend, which I'll be reviewing for you over the next couple days. Snitch, which looks okay, has The Rock in it. And Dark Skies, which looks like a, an abomination. I just can't wait till March, which is next week, because even though I don't, I'm not really looking forward to Jack the Giant Slayer, we got Oz, which I've been looking forward to for over a year, even though it doesn't look as great as I thought it was going to be. It looks good. And then going into April, May, June, July, we have some movies that have potential to be great. And this year itself can be great 
once we pick up with the shit. But we are in a shithole right now. We gotta dig ourselves out. Um, but yeah, if you've been watching my videos for the last year, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you subscribers, all 370 something of you who have grown. And I, continue, I hope to continue to prosper and grow over the next years and so. This new camera is a step in the right direction. It's a new chapter in my life. A, an expensive chapter, but it's going to be awesome. And I just really appreciate Without you guys, I wouldn't even do this. I mean, you guys have inspired me to go out and just challenge myself in ways I wouldn't before. And this camera is a challenge for me. It's going to be fun, inventive, and new. Thank you very much if you watch my videos, really. I think that's it. We're cutting into the six minute mark and I don't want to sound awkward and end this video on a weird note but yeah been a weird week for movies Megan Fox is April O'Neil what the hell is that that's just the one thing on my mind right now because it's just gonna burn forever I'm like why why this has been Mothman Jones movie blog raw and uncut hopefully next segment we have some good news to talk about here <sighs> see you next time in H. Gee.